Hi, my name is Matthew, and I'm a technical support engineer at Hawkridge Systems. This video is part of our technical support series, and today we will go over the process to modify a SOLIDWORKS installation to add a new add-in or serial number to your install. If you have an administration image and you installed using that, you'll need to refer to our admin image guide found in the description, since the process will be a little bit different than what we're going to go over in this video. To start, we will click on the Windows button on the bottom left of your taskbar and search for the Windows control panel. Once open, we will go into Programs, then Programs and Features. In the new window, scroll down to your SOLIDWORKS installation that you wish to change, click on it, then select Change. You can also right-click and click Change in the flyout bar. Once the Installation Manager opens, toggle on the Modify the Individual Installation Radio button, then click Next. The first tab we're brought into is for serial numbers. Here, we can toggle on the Add-ins checkbox that you're adding, then enter the new serial number into the Installation Manager. If you happen to add any new seats to your network license, you will enter the network serial number it's associated to into these boxes. After the new licenses are entered, click Next to continue. The manager will do a quick check of your system to see what you currently have installed, then bring you into the Product Selection tab. Here, you can toggle on the checkboxes associated to the add-ins that you wish to install. Each time you click on a checkbox, the estimated size will increase in correspondence to the add-in selected. If you do not see your add-in shown in the list, which can happen with network licenses, you can click the Select Different Packages or Products link at the top right. In the new window, change the drop-down toggle to SOLIDWORKS Premium, then enable the Also Show Products that are not part of this package checkbox. Clicking OK on the window will refresh the product selection screen to show all add-ins. For SOLIDWORKS Composer, the Composer Player checkbox must be disabled first in order for the add-in to appear. Clicking Next again will bring us into the Summary tab where we can finalize our modifications. The first section is the Products to Add, where we can see the add-ins we toggled on in the previous screen. If you do not see your add-in shown, you can click Change to return to the Product Selection tab and enable the add-ins. The next section is the Products to Remove. If you happen to untoggle any of the add-ins in the product selection screen, they will appear inside of this box. Again, if you do not see your add-in shown that you wish to uninstall, you can click Change to return to the Product Selection tab. The Download Options section shows your method of installation for these add-ins, and clicking Change will allow you to adjust your method. If you happen to have a set of install files already on your computer, you can click Install Only and browse to these files. If you do not have any install files, toggling on the Download and Install option will tell the installation manager to download the necessary files from the web, then install the add-ins with them. If you want to enable automatic updates with the background downloader, which will download the install files when the new service pack is released, you can toggle on the checkbox for Use the background downloader for future service packs. As a warning, this can take up additional bandwidth when the service pack is released. If you have multiple computers, these all will download the install files at the same time. Back in the Summary tab, we will leave the Install Location, Toolbox, and PDM options, if you have the client installed, unchanged since these do not need to be modified. If everything looks correct, we will agree to the Terms of Conditions and modify the install. When the install completes, you can launch SOLIDWORKS and begin using your new add-ins by enabling them within the Add-ins window found under Tools, Add-ins. If you added new serial numbers to your install, a reactivation is required. Go into the Help menu, Activate Licenses, to begin this activation process. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding the Installation Manager and how to navigate through it to modify your SOLIDWORKS installation. If you find it helpful, or you wish to know more about SOLIDWORKS and what can be done with the software, you are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for our blogs and knowledge-based material.